Good morning Year 5 and welcome to our English lesson on Tuesday the 19th of January and today we're going to be continuing writing diaries and we're going to be writing the story of the highwayman but told from Bess's perspective in a diary format and yesterday you spent some time looking at the features of a diary, looking at what a diary should look like, what should be in a diary so that obviously we can write an extended piece of writing. So first things first. Okay, the part we're going to be writing about today of the highwayman is just this bit I've got on the screen here. We don't want you to go all the way to the end and writing everything. We just want you to, to write about this bit. And it's where Bess first sees him. So in, in the poem it says, over the cobbles he clattered and clashed in the dark inn yard and he tapped with his whip on the shutters but all was locked and barred he whistled a tune to the window and who should be waiting there but the landlord's black-eyed daughter Bess, the landlord's daughter plaiting a dark red love knot into her long black hair so that is the only bit we're writing about today and i want to be really clear about that because we really want to expand it and make it interesting and focus on the quality of our writing not just rushing through and ending up with only four lines of a diary so let's have a look what i would like to see your work have in it today so we know, and we've talked about, that the features of a diary are that it's in chronological order, it's in time order, and then it uses this new word, colloquial language. That means that it just has a chatty tone to it. It's almost like your diary is speaking to somebody. Really, really important, it has description. Okay, we can see on the right, your diary needs to especially include what the highwayman looks like and how you, pretending to be best, feel about him. We really want you to be creative and imaginative, just like the example of the Victorian diary we looked at yesterday. We want you to write in the past tense and we want it to be written in first person and we know that just means using I and my. And the other thing which is as important as the description is the self-reflection. How does Beth feel? How does she feel when he rides up? How does she feel seeing him? Is it mixed emotions? And that will help us write um, a good amount of a diary rather than just saying what happens and you end up with only a few lines. So it's what I've done is I've had a go myself um, and this is my example. And then I'm going to show you some of the good things in that example, and then you can have a go at writing your own. So, dear diary. So, today was really exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. Firstly, I want to tell you that my love came back today. It was a lovely warm day and all was quiet out when I heard the clatter and clash on the inn yard. Surprised at the noise, I looked out and was shocked to see him riding up. Expertly, he rode up on a magnificent, majestic brown horse. His cape was red like a flame flowing out behind him. He wore a hat on his head made from the finest fabric and his wonderful warm brown eyes were hidden behind a mask. He was a whirlwind arriving at my window, whistling to grab my attention. Embarrassingly, I could hardly speak. I was so happy to see him, but also nervous. I was worried somebody might see him and report him to the king's men, and that could be disastrous. Could you imagine if he was arrested? That would be awful. I was that nervous I couldn't keep my hands still, so I plaited my hair as we laughed and chatted just to have something to do. It was amazing to see him again. I always worry when he leaves that something will happen to him. Okay, that's where we're stopping. We're not stopping um, any further on than that. We're just talking today and writing today about how Bess feels when she first sees him, what he looks like and how nice it is for her to see him and to talk to him. Just that small bit that we read together. So let me show you some of the things that I will be looking for and that the, all, the, well, all the teachers will be looking for when we mark the work. So it's the first slide says, so today was really exciting. I can't wait to share it with you. Firstly, you'll see firstly, or you might not be able to because of the camera quality. Firstly, is in purple. We want you to be using adverbials. We spent so much time working on them last term 
that I think now they should be part of our everyday writing. And we know to use the adverbial, like firstly or expertly, and then use a comma before your sentence.